Was that last one recording? Sure was. Okay, good. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Oasis or Blur? No. What? Oasis, I, I mean Oasis. To find 50 better tunes than this, I think you can yeah. do it. It's absolutely minor, Chief. No, it's not, it's in G. Well, that's what no, I wrote it. What do you want to hear? Oasis. Uh, the next song is Half the World Away. Um, this has become a very famous Oasis song now, um, and possibly, arguably, the most famous B side in history when it became the theme tune to the much beloved sitcom um, The Royal Family. Um, again, it entered into the consciousness of the general public in a way that they probably didn't really expect when they threw it onto the b-side of their Christmas single. But yeah, it's now become one of the most popular Oasis songs and to the, to the point now where it actually gets on their compilation best ofs ahead of the a-side single that it came off. Um, now there might be some wranglings with the copyright infringement shit, um, but I actually think it's a better, more popular song than whatever. Um, I actually think it's a better choice to put on a best of and whatever. It's a much more universal song, it's easier to get into. Um, it's got that lovely chiming guitar line uh, under the acoustic, actually above the acoustic in the mix, um, that, that just sort of eases you and soothes you into this song. And then the lyrics, which are quite um, sort of very passive aggressive, He's still on the theme where he's looking to get out of a scenario or he's in a scenario that he doesn't like I'm still scratching around in the same old hole and the fact that it became the the royal family theme tune just give it a massive injection of life there's a story of course that uh, when Craig Cash and Caroline Ahern approached Noel about using the theme tune for a domestic sitcom he assumed they were going to use married with children Whenever, whenever the end of the episode, whenever Jim Royal does something like, you know, picks the fluff out of his belly button or something, uh, with that, with with that, you know, stare that he gives all his family members, he is nothing but, you know, silent contempt for. Uh, whenever, whenever the line drops, what do you say? It. It, it really grabs the listener better than anything they could have got for, out of Married with Children, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's just a class song. Um, and again, as it showed the breadth of Noel's songwriting, that he felt so confident just to put this on a non-album single as its only way out to the world, and it's become one of their most popular tunes. Um, and then I've got another sort of Lisa Life um, as part of this recent um, Christmas ad bonanza of taking a well, actually taking a very well known song and then breaking it down to a whispery voiced female over a piano or solo acoustic and making that the entire crux of your Christmas marketing campaign. Um, and this was chosen by the the uh, protogenies of this uh, of the protogenitors is that a word? Uh, uh, this was this was used by the sort of the inventors of this uh, thing where it was John Lewis so John Lewis used this on one of their Christmas ads I think the impact of those ads has had diminished year on year um, and I think about a week later they announced a 90% drop in profits um, Christmas 2020, I don't think we'll have the same capitalist feeding frenzy um, associated with it just because this whole lockdown has been sort of like Christmas every day, the way Wizard wanted it. And we're coming up to the end of the Tony McCarroll era. Um, we've still got three or four more entries in it. Uh, but I do want to just bring him up briefly. Um, I'll probably go into more details in his last video, although there is already quite a lot to speak about in his last in his last entry. Um, but he has connections to this local area, to Tari Ray, which is between Oma and Fintana, where is where I grew up and where I played football as a child. It, it's odd that he, he is such a monumental, you know, fingerprint on the world, but yet he's not celebrated in this area as much as you would have thought. 
Uh, people are vaguely aware that he is from the area, um, but he did leave very early as a, or even he may not even have been here, it might have been his father was from here, but you know what the Irish are like. So don't forget, you can subscribe with the bell, um, and the bell will ring every time I release a new video. Um, so yeah, so I will continue adding more content. Um, I'm working now on I'm literally just uploading a Fathered Head podcast video uh, for Season 2, Episode 1, Hell, so get on top of that. What about yourself? Do you have any ideas of Half the World Away? Is it their best song? Is it the best B-side ever? Is it even the best B-side Oasis ever did? Obviously, there is one glaring, glaring um, entry in that regard, but uh, my point is that I think it's the most popular B-side of all time. Now, as for, for all I know, Elton John might have released fucking Candle in the Wind as a B-side initially or something like that. So just let me know in the comments if I'm a complete fucking idiot. Or you can tell me you like this stuff and let me know in the comments below. You can find a lot of my acting, podcasting, and some of my other stuff. Acting, podcasting, other stuff.